What's up, guys? It's Super Kyle Fragilistic Doshis here, and um, this is probably for the more technically experienced, but you don't need to be. All you need to know is what Tor is. Now, basically, what Tor is is a kind of a darknet. Basically, you have um, basic browsers like Chrome or Internet Explorer or Firefox, you know, stuff like that, and you can access the basic internet that are accessed with .com, .org, .net, or you know, any basic URL. Now there are different darknet web uh, darknet web providers that allow you to access websites in their separate directories, but you can't access the actual internet and their directories, uh, directory domain names. But in Tor, you can access both the internet and their um, dot onion URL sites. And dot onion URL sites is um, very infamous for um, getting like illegal pages and really weird stuff and. Uh, I was looking on my iPhone and I saw um, a web browser that supports dot onion uh, URLs. Um, it's you actually need to pay for it, but um, it's very useful if you want anonymity. It's uh, Red Onion. You can look for it in the App Store, but I haven't bought it. I used um, Hip Store, which is a free app store that you can get. So we're going to search up red onion, red onion Tor powered web browser. Now see, we have it on our device, but we haven't bought it yet. And there's a previous video before this that shows you how to get apps for free. And I suggest you um, go look at that video before trying to before trying to access uh, this. So I don't want you guys to pay for it, I want this to be extremely free. So I'll show you guys how to set it up. So you open the web browser, Red Onion, and it's you're gonna, it's gonna be prompted for a passcode. That's the thing that I love. It's so secure that you require a passcode just to enter the app. I'm gonna enter my passcode right now, and I've just accessed it. So establishing a Tor circuit. This completely confirms that your identity is secure. So this is how to customize your browser. Because you're going to start off with Bing. And that does not allow you to access dot onion sites. And I'll show you guys how to access dot onion sites in a quick second. But first how to set it up. So you're gonna go to app settings and you're going to change your search engine to startpage.com ix quick and I haven't checked the other the other settings so we're going to check it out right now so a browser settings so passcode lock red browser home smart security uh, we're gonna block all yeah and uh, block all cookies I don't like cookies uh, we're gonna spoofing. Oh yes, spoofing. Um, we're going to use uh, Windows Seven, probably. Yeah. Uh, and then enabled HTTP pipelining. Yeah. So, okay, so these are all basically. Oh, okay. Uh, do not track enabled. Okay. So you have everything ready, so I'm going to show you guys how to access dot onion URLs. These cannot be accessed on regular browsers. They have to be accessed on Tor, either on your computer or using Red Browser on your mobile device. So what you want to do is you want to go to Hidden Wiki, Hidden Wiki. Now it's not going to show you the first Hidden Wiki. Um, during the beginning. Start page. Now. It's going to go into the first um, search option. Head in wiki tour on your URLs. It's going to open this. And we're going to go to the third link, which is the uncensored hidden wiki. This will allow you to access uh, Tor to onion URLs, but you can still access them directly from here. But this is how it gives you a wide variety of them. Open. All right. For some reason, um, 
Uh, the links seem not to be processing on my phone. Uh, just as a confirmation, this does work on iOS 7, 8, 9. Um, since I'm running iOS 7.1.2 to make sure it's running on the earliest firmware, um, it does work on everything, so it's A-OK. -okay. For some reason, I don't think these links are working, but you can make sure that they're .onion URLs by uh, checking right here. And let me just see if I can get this to work. All right, guys, it seems that um, uh, I'm going to have a browser issues, but it probably should have fixed it if I restart um, the caches next time. But I just wanted to show you this really cool app that you could, guys could try out for yourselves. Um, it even has new tab integration. It's really cool, I think, personally, that you can access Tor directories directly on your phone. Um, without having to access a torrent and having to um, go into the system files like that. So, uh, anyways, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching, and have a super powerful, just like XPL Day.